It is Steve Renazizi Day. Don't forget that. Should we listen to this? Here. I can hear you. The rest of the world hears you. Let's do it. And the people who knock these buildings down will hear all of us soon. Never forget 9-11. I watched the second plane hit the second tower. Liar. Liar. I watched the second plane hit our tower. Never forget 9-11. I watched the second plane hit the second tower. Liar. Liar. I watched the second plane hit our tower. Take that back. Watch the second Steve plane. Steve Renazizi coming up. Take that back. Watch the second plane hit. Don't need to lie about that. Watch the second plane hit. 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 Cross the Brooklyn Bridge. Walked across the Manhattan Bridge. You see that Steve Renazizi animation from Sven Stoffels, everybody. Brand new. That's Here, I'll so show good. you again. Here it is. Wait, don't you think you should don't leave it on the whole that. time? Go ahead, dream. Steve. I watched the second plane hit the, the second, second tower. tower. Liar. And one of those dreams. Liar. Yeah, I think it lines this up to the beach. The second plane hit the second tower. tower. Steve never forgets 9-11. I watched the second plane hit the second tower. Very Liar. cool, huh? Liar. Bang. Gotta I see the video version. The second plane hit our tower. I want to thank Steve for being a part of this fun evening. And I thank Steve for giving us George a chance Bush. to laugh tonight. To Steve, he's a, everybody. He's a fine talent. Steve never forgets. Steve never forgets. Wow. Steve never forgets. <laughs> wow, very nice. Uh, audio, hold on. Audio by Tap and Skins, everybody. And this beautiful animation here by Sven Stuffles. You could follow him at Daft Just. Love that, Sven. Very great guy. Very great animation. I miss him. Put it away for a second here. So every year on 9-11, we remind people who this guy was. Steve Renazizi. Uh, do we have that here? Our Steve video. Here's the easiest way to get so up to speed. A- if you don't know about Steve Renazizi, pause what you're doing. You can pause this show. You can head over to the Red Bar YouTube, youtube.com slash Red Bar Radio. You'll see this video. Hashtag never forgive. Steve Renazizi lied about being in 9-11. A look back at the biggest lie ever told. Very funny. It's an hour long. You can pause right now. You can go listen to it for an hour. Come back to this. That sucks. But uh, this explains everything. It, it explains his lie. I think it's a nice video here. This is from last year. Remember, this is the one that Todd Detter yelled at me for not getting up on YouTube quick enough. As if he works with us or something. Very strange. So God, there's a comedian strict. out there who lied about being in 9-11. His name is Steve Renazizi. And every year on 9-11, we're just going to go over what he did. Yes. I'm sickened uh, by the fact that every comedian has forgiven, forgotten. They've allowed him. Do we have some audio in here, Jules, maybe about his story, maybe that we could play to refresh people? Here, look at this one. Never forgive. Let's just take a look. This is Steve Renazizi on Mark Maron. Let's see if we could just catch him real quick. His head and then was like, yes. fuck, 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 and then admitted it a couple weeks later. I didn't think that he... Why do you think I'm doing this? Never this forgive. So you think I'm just doing crazy. this because I am out of ideas here today? Yes, this is crazy. Yes, this is nuts. Never forgive. Already ended right there. Let's hear some more. Yeah, yeah. that's where the part. I worked on the the 54th floor of the second tower. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Listen to this. I worked at the 54th. He didn't work there, by the way. This was all fabricated. He didn't work in the tower. He didn't live by the tower. He created this entire story about being in 9-11. Here he is on Mark Maron. He shopped it around everywhere for years, year after year after year. All right, and uh, he thinks he should be forgiven. Ari Shafir is going around right now telling people, dude, lay off. We all lie. We do. Uh, Did you evacuate that day? I Yeah, I was there, and then the first tower got hit, and we were, like, you know, Look jostled all over the place. And then the Port Authority came on the loudspeaker, and they were like, hey, uh, explosion in Tower 1. Um, things are being taken care of. Everyone remain where you are. Stay calm. We're, we're figuring things out. Yeah, people are shocked. Um, me too, Jules. To hear the detail in the, From the video is shocking. Never forget. And how excited he is to Jared. tell it. Yes, he's excited. And meanwhile, people are burning until their bones blacken in the fires <sighs> of that deadly day. Okay? 
All right, so you remember that, and please go watch it because he really goes into depth, and we've got it all. It's on YouTube. Share it with everybody on 9-11, okay? You'll go to Red Bar's YouTube. You'll copy it, and you'll post this on your Facebook feeds, Twitter, everything that Steve does. Every year, we want people to remember how he shit on the remains of the damned, all right? This year, we're doing something different. Steve Ren is easy talks about us now this is uh, pretty pretty funny you all know my photoshop prank that i did to dane cook right if you haven't seen that there's a video i did on dane cook on our youtube page got a video for it all called the specialist or the photoshop thing uh dane cook took a picture with uh what was that guy's name spidey who created spider-man who was the guy who died oh stan lee stan lee uh, when Stan Lee died, Dane Cook took a posted a picture with him. You've seen celebrities do this. Oh, Stan was great. I love him. So I got in there and I go, Photoshopped pick. Why? You know, why would you do this? And everyone, it wasn't a Photoshopped pick of him and Stan Lee, but everyone went nuts and all of his fans started defending. Dane got involved, swearing that he didn't Photoshop. I'm in there. You know, we got a whole video about it. I'm going, I got a specialist sitting right here. You know, he's looking at it. It's definitely Photoshop. So we created uh, uh, quite the controversy there with Dane Cook. Dane Cook ended up blocking me, hating me. This ruined his month. Well, we got Steve Renazizi a couple years later with the same prank. Photoshop pick why. why? I love this. <laughs> Photoshop pick why. And I think it starts. Uh, oh, no, this is like we got to get the photo. We never went over the Photoshop pick. Do oh, we have sorry, another note? In another note underneath it. Great. Sorry, sorry. Uh, so we never went over this. If you remember this, it's because you were in our bring back group. Here. BBG, son, till I D-I-E. Our uh, Facebook uh, group there. Here it is. Here's the pic. Look at that. The day of Regis Philbin's death. Steve run is easy. And you could tell uh, you got to be a real asshole. This is hours after the coroners pick up the body. They got to post a photo to let everyone know this is a perfect opportunity to brag about who I knew. So shame on them. Anytime a celebrity posts a picture with a dead celebrity hours after they died, go in there, accuse them of photoshopping the pic. They fall <laughs> for it every time. So we go in there. Photoshop pic. Where do we start here, Jules? Because these are a mess here on the I added Instagram. the Facebook post if you want to see Great. all the Yeah, let's go to the Facebook post. Here he is with Regis. And we'll show you what happened here briefly. Uh, here you go. Here's the first one. And it started with a guy taking my lead. His name is John Honan. Thank you, John. Could wait till you see what this caused you today. He goes in there doing the typical Mike David bit. Photoshopped pick. Why? Uh, the specialist. Okay, here you go. Here's the Here's the good comments. Everybody got involved as soon as we posted this in our Facebook group. Here you go. If this is a Photoshop, it's a damn good one. Only weird thing is the lighting on Regis. And then another guy joins in. The lighting uh, is a dead giveaway. R.I.P. Regis. So hundreds of people are flooding to this picture, uh, telling them that it's fake. Here's another one. Photoshopped, why? Um, and then here is, is this uh, the woman? Steve Renazizi's wife. Comes to the rescue. Tracy Renazizi. Tracy Renazizi. Come on down. You're featured here today. So Steve is terrified, and we're going to show you this. He goes, Tracy, can you go into my thread and handle this for me? Let him know it's not Photoshop. I sent you all the comments in order if that makes it easier. Oh, you did? Perfect. I could close this now? Yep. Great. Okay, check this out, because Steve's wife came to the rescue on Steve's behalf, and we have proof of that. Uh, so let's take a look at what Steve Weiss said to the hundreds of people um, claiming this is photoshopped, okay? You're going to really love this. Here you go. Just set this up for you. Okay. Uh, photoshopped, why? The pixels look off a bit. Here's Tracy. It's not. I took this picture in October of 2013. Here's a response to that. Well, Tracy, I've got my digital imaging specialist right here beside me. The metadata clearly shows it was taken on September 2001. <laughs> How deep does this lie go, Judy? And they're calling her Judy. That's her stupid screen name. 
This is in very poor taste, Mr. 911, posting a Photoshop with a dead man. Yikes. <laughs> and then his wife, Tracy. It's not. So yikes on the shaking. It was taken in October of 2010 and posted then as well. She's going in to every comment and defending, screaming and defending. Here, we've got some more. These are great. Uh, clearly photoshopped. Explain. Tracy comes in again. The wife. Nope. Taken way back in 2013. Posted then as well. Here's another one. I work with a Photoshop. I work with Photoshop eight plus hours a day. I could tell a fake when I see one. Just wondering why someone would do this. Here's another one to Tracy. Nice try. Uh, Brandon Mueller in here, everybody. We love Brandon Mueller because I always appreciate a good Photoshop work. A little weird in this context, but the effort comes through. Um, <laughs> so it goes on and on. Let's read you a few more, and then we're going to show you what happened, which was very cool. Uh, here's another one. It's not even a good attempt at Photoshop. Bad move. Lying about 9-11, was it enough? Are you addicted to inserting yourself into other people's tragedies? Here's Ju uh, his wife, Tracy, doing the facepalm emoji there. <laughs> And then she says this, it's real. No Photoshopping here. It's posted in October. Sorry, you have to find another bad guy today. So she's starting to get pissed. Uh, then this guy goes, okay, well, I'm literally sitting here with an expert on Photoshopping and deep fakes. And she says, otherwise, <laughs> she goes, you're right. Not even a good attempt because it's real. From a league press tour back in 2013, I posted it then too. And then this guy goes, didn't you also back up Steve's 9-11 lie at one point? Hmm, I'm going to stick with my expert's opinion. Wow. So they're freaking out. This is the first. And believe, Steve's been under the radar for a while. Remember, all of his friends, Big Jay Okerson is his good friend. Ari Shafir, you're going to see in a little bit. She's repeating herself to everyone. So and she's now this going. is only screenshot three out of like 50. Okay, can we stop we, with yeah, the screenshot? Okay, you get it. There's, There's so literally, many. it goes on and on. There it's so funny. like 150 comments Hundreds. of people talking about. So <laughs> we posted this in the Bring Back group. I kind of forgot to talk about it on the show. It was very funny. We definitely got them. Okay, right? Well, it doesn't end there. Apparently, they had a podcast with Ari Shafir and all these people. We have the video version of it. Would you like to see them talking about this whole debacle? I haven't even watched this yet. So I am super excited. Uh, Skeptic Tank, is that what it's from? Yes, sir. Oh, it's from Ari Shafir's Skeptic Tank. Uh, let's see what episode. I knew I was Ooh, does he look bad. <laughs> Ari Shafir loves this guy. He won't stop. And we got some of our other friends on this as well. Oh, wow. This episode, sitting at 57,000K, is episode 399 of Skeptic Tank, Ari Shafir's podcast. And it's called E-Rage with Steve Renazizi, Shane Gillis, and Corinne Fisher. Wow. We've covered all of these people on the show and Ari Shafir. And of course, uh, Steve's wife is here in this video or no? Or is that so. Corinne? Okay. Yeah, it's Corinne. It's Corinne. So where do we start here? I haven't seen any of this. 108? Yep. Okay. Let's go to 10800. And I believe they're going to talk about the mighty red bar and our dirty tricks. How funny is this? <laughs> Steve. Oh, look at Corinne Fisher. I've never seen her with this haircut. This is the one who was arguing with Joe DeRosa, a.k.a. Sam the Cooking Guy, about abortion. Remember She's got that? some color here. She looks great. New haircut. You know who she looks like? Uh, Rachel Dratch from SNL when she does that bit where it zooms in on her face and she's going... <laughs> you know that one? No. You'll see it. Rachel Dratch. All right, let's see this. Uh, Steve Run is easy. The stupid, stupid Steve. Here we go. Every step of the way in front of an audience. And like if the audience isn't willing to be like, yes, maybe I'm going to hear something I don't like. But like that doesn't mean this is like how this person thinks. They're just trying to no. get it out in a way that will make Woo. you understand their thoughts, their feelings. Imagine Garth Brooks writing a song and when his string popped Steve! at the N-word just blurted out. And he was like, oh, shit. <laughs> uh -oh. Shit. This oh is rehearsal. God, right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so look at. Ah, here. Look at this scene. Are we going to get him again? 
Come on. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Wow. Look at this. Shane Gillis wearing a Sam Hyde T-shirt. Is this true? Does he even know who Sam Hyde is or did someone just send this to him? This kind of looks like my shirt today. Yours is better. Mine is way better. 24. Uh, here's the dummy retard Shane Gillis. This is another guy. You just got to trust me. If you haven't seen my Shane Gillis stuff, he's awful. He's terrible. Don't be fooled. <laughs> here's Ari Shaquir uh, looking very peppery today. I came up with that. Stolen by Legion of Skanks. Yeah, he looks like Pepper from American Horror Story uh, Asylum. Okay. Here's Renazizi on the couch chilling and Corinne Fisher. This was all new. Let's hear what they say. Uh-oh. Shit, this is rehearsal. <laughs> yeah. Um, getting back to what you were saying before about how it comes up. A couple weeks ago, Regis died, and I had this picture that I took with Regis from the show that he did in like 2000, I don't know, we were promoting the league, so like 12, 13. And uh, so I throw it up there. I go, hey, Regis, great guy, great New Yorker, rest in peace. I'm glad and he's dead. And first thing Ari, Ari writes, the first comment is, uh, is Ari's like, he, this is a great He was so cool to take this picture with you, especially after you try to grab your cock before the interview. And I, was, I write back, <laughs> he's a true pro, Ari. I'm like, we just motored on. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's, and so back and forth. <laughs> he molested you. About yeah. three hours later, I, I check my – it's got like 75 comments, and I'm like, this is not normal. I go, Oh, really, dude? <laughs> it's got 75 comments. This is not normal. So he's where he's been low key since the 9 11 stuff. He's afraid of people. He has PTSD. PTS Mike D. I mean, as he should. If I told yes. him that big, I would never ah. show my face again. Look at his face. Ah. So he's scared when some. This is like Melton. When something has too many comments, he gets... Imagine that. You're a performer. It has 75 comments, and that makes your heart thump because you're used to getting only 13 comments on your shitty Instagram that nobody goes to because you lied about Nina. Let's see what happens next. Hours later, I, I check my... And it's got like 75 comments, and I'm like, this is not normal. I go, what? I go, this Ari thing has popped up, a, a storm here. So I check it. It's all of a sudden it's... This is fake. <laughs> this picture's fake. Your this picture's Photoshop. Whoa! Oh, really, dude? <laughs> and now you're under my control. This picture's fake. This picture's Photoshop. Just what he needs. Now, I want to let you know these aren't Karens that we're talking about. These are the world's top killers, monsters, comedians, everybody. They shouldn't be so fucking stupid. <laughs> Uh, they should have some wit about them. They don't, okay? They're being handled by people. Uh, you know, we're doing this with our eyes closed here. We're doing this. I was a Dairy Queen while there's I'm on my cell phone. Ah, ha, ha. We're not even trying. And you're being juggled. So let's see him uh, explain his way out of this one. The 9-11 liar. I'm sitting next to a Photoshop expert. and is fu- Now, by the way, the saying, picture sitting next to a is 1,000% real, okay? Yeah, and also, like, if you're going to Photoshop, that's not the guy to it's do it. It's hundreds and hundreds. And now it's just like you're, another lie. You're a liar. Fake, fake, oh. fake. Boo. And now, but the problem <laughs> is, and funny. I just stayed out of it. My wife got involved because I never get involved. My husband is a piece of shit, but I'm telling you right now. <laughs> not for not- and Shane put him. Uh, and Ari, uh, what are you two laughing about? Because shouldn't they be able to know that Photoshop expert is a troll? Well, thing? they're laughing at how funny this is because <laughs> it is funny, right? Uh, do you know you're laughing at me? <laughs> Thank you, guys. So I am funny, huh? Remember this. The next time Shane says I'm not funny, well, you laughed a lot here. Look at this chuckle tard. Blah, 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 SNL, SNL, thumb my soul. You love it when you didn't know it was me. I'm sure when you hear it's about me, you're going to change your tune. Oh, you like it too? Wait till you see my new video. <laughs> All right, let's see some more. Him. <laughs> this is not him. This is really Regis. And so, uh, and, and, and finally, I'm just like, I'm like, let it just go. And then all of a sudden, I just started seeing like DMs come at me from like, fans of like my <laughs> podcast now whatever opinion like what's this 9-11 stuff and what's wow and yeah. I'm like, oh fuck i'm like this is how it gets recycled and it's yes like, this is it no this is how it gets recycled michael is Mike, upon Mike, us it is time Mike, to seek Mike, refuge Mike, 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 Mike. Ah! Ah, 
I'm the Recycler. That's my new nickname, the Recycler. <laughs> Rated R. Uh, yes. So this is working. Everything that I like works. Watch this. And, what's, and yeah. I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm like, this is how it gets recycled. And it's like, look, all right, fine. If you're already a fan of mine and you read it, you may go, you probably got to go, ah, is it, you know, I don't, it's a mistake, move on. But like some people just might go, ah, you know, I wish. You yeah, know. it's too bad. And maybe it's too bad they found out this way or whatever. But it just, it, that's how it kind of gets rehashed with me once in a while. And that's the only time like, it's weird. fuck, I've kind of yeah. moved on from it. And I, you know. Oh, you have, you've moved on from 9-11. You know who hasn't? Cue the list of family names with families who have died. Can we get a scrolling thing here for the YouTube video <laughs> of the families that died? They're all mad. I'm emailing every one of them this link. Okay? It's a harassment to the families, too. I don't care about the families. So, uh, he just thinks it's like, uh, oh my God, I should never have to, to, to be reminded. Someone in the chat is like, he's bringing up the 9-11 lie on his own. And I just want to say, yes, his mind is so distorted yes. that he's convinced himself it's no big deal that well, he did that. It's not just that. He's convinced himself that like, if you still care about his 9-11 lie, you're the problem. You yes. know, and if, you know, time erases all crime, it doesn't. Not we would this never crime. we would never forgive Dahmer. Well, I don't know, actually. We would at never least forgive Dahmer didn't lie. Yeah, at least Dahmer didn't lie. Except that one time to the cops when he was carrying that Asian kid, but I mean he had to. Officer, this guy trying to take this boy away. Uh, he's my friend. He's just got way too drunk. I was just taking him home. No. All right. <laughs> um, this is truly pathetic. Corinne and Ari and Shane, you shouldn't be, fr that's too big of a lie. And you don't just tell a whopper like that. Again, click the video below to see what he did. When you really hear it, you're going to go, oh man, this wasn't just a little thing. This was huge. That was a giant whopster. And when you lie about that, you've lied about millions of other things. You're probably still lying. You're a uh, you're a disgraced person. And it's not person. just the lie. It's the ease of the lie, the confidence yeah. in which and you said it. Again, it's the comedians. Immediately when this happened, you had Big J. I wish we had quotes from them. Who cares? Everyone lies. Ari Shafir, who cares? We all lie. This is what they said. We don't. And... You do? What did you guys lie about? What are your big <laughs> lies? If the 9-11 lie is not a big deal to you, <laughs> I need to know what lies you've told. This is my thesis, you see. That comedians are liars and crazy and bad and no listen bad. Remember that? Uh, let's hear some more. He hash with me once in a while, and that's the only time, like, it's weird. fuck, I've kind of yeah. moved on from it, and I... You know, it's weird because time stops for these things. So when yeah. people find out about it, it's as if it's happening right now. Every it is happening right now. Cue that fucking plane again. Here, can I have this? It's happening right now. Have you forgotten? Yes, I lied about being in the World Trade Center. But oh. have you forgotten? Wow, and it even. Look at that. It's happening again and again and again. And my sole mission in life is to just remind people. I'm the reminder. You can Ari grow some stubble, please? I know, really. Ari, you look terrible. You look like one of Joey Diaz's insertions. All right, let's see what happens next. Every single time. It's as if it's yeah. happening right now. I get anxiety every time I ask a uh, black celebrity to, to be on the podcast. Like, I, I go, I go. Uh, they're going to fucking Google, and that's going to come up, and then... Wait, wait, wait. Like, what did you do to black people? She fetishized them. I get nervous every time a black person <laughs> listens to my podcast? What is she, me? <laughs> Shout outs to George Floyd. We miss you, homie. I miss you more than anything. Prove that I don't. Prove that I don't miss George Floyd. I fucking, I'm still up all night. I can't sleep over him. I loved him. I was dating him before he died. People don't know that. I have the texts to prove it. Uh, here you go. Let's hear some more. It's like, I almost like, I, um, I would rather just have them maintain their view of me, maybe like from like a small interaction than even asking them to be on the podcast and risking them Google like 
guys we fucked like and having that come up mm-hmm. like i want rachel true to be on the podcast rachel so Dratch. badly i love her i've befriended her on instagram and i go yeah i feel like she's gonna google this and like yeah our friendship well, like, our internet those, friendship will be over all those nasty things you said yeah. <laughs> yeah all of these guys here have been a tr- you got ari shafir with the kobe joke he went into hiding shane gillis with the <laughs> joke for snl he bitched out he doesn't do anything steve run it's easy with the 9 11 thing and then corinne with the black thing so this is four squares look at these losers this is okay. like the trailer for wreck it ralph yeah where they have all the villains sitting in an aa style circle yeah this is it and they're all oh they can't they can't even deal i've said a thousand worse things on this episode alone <laughs> And they're sitting here as if they're the long and lost, both forgotten. Shane and Steve are wearing black socks with white shoes. Wow, I just look at that. To say. The fantastic poor is what I call them. All four of them are poor. They got millions of eyes on them. They all make less money than me. It's it's disgusting. But there it was. Steve running Zizi caught up. He can't know it. He doesn't know what a troll is anymore. Very worried about 9-11. And uh, we hope you enjoyed that again. Watch this video below for the full story on how Steve Renazizi lied. Thank you guys so much. Have you forgotten yes. where Steve Renazizi was? I don't know how they figured it out. Have you forgotten? Very nice. We'll take a break. We'll be right back with much more on Red Bar. I can hear you, the rest of the world hears you, and the people who knock these buildings down will hear all of us soon. Never forget 9-11. I watched the second plane hit the second tower. Liar. Liar. I watched the second plane hit our tower. Never forget 9-11. I watched the second plane hit the second tower. Liar. Liar. Bang. I watched the second plane hit our tower. Take that back. Watch the second plane hit. Take that back. Watch the second plane hit. Don't need to lie about that. Watch the second plane hit. 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 Cross the Brooklyn Bridge. Walked across the Manhattan Bridge. Liar. Liar. Take that. Take that. Take that back. Don't need to lie about that. Take that back. Take that. Take that. Don't need to lie about that. I have a dream. I watched the second plane hit the second tower. Liar! And one of those dreams Liar. is... I watched the second plane hit our tower. Steve never forgets 9-11. I watched the second plane hit the second tower. Liar! Liar! Bang! I watched the second plane hit our tower. I want to thank Steve to be a part of this fun evening. And I thank Steve for giving us a chance to laugh tonight. He's a... He's a fine talent. Steve never forgets. Steve never forgets. Steve never forgets.